love bugs is Roslyn back at you one more again I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family just thank you so much for the love and support um just being able to push out my truth as well as knowledge and awareness towards others as I still instill in myself is truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl is about to upload her next video. Also, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the video is very informative to you or it just gives you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or a friend please go ahead and do so especially a fellow empath that are having really trying times right now and trying to find that spiritual guidance or just life purpose or even their life path and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also ch share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And um, my background meditation music I'm using today is, is called Hand of God. Golden Ratio. Energy Healing. Ultra Deep Delta Brain Waves. Nine Hours of Sleep Music. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is... Uh, when uh when, let me see twin flame 101 hey oak is when universe reminds you how strong you are when stressful situations come come your way it is so true you know it's the fact is we all are going through things you know especially during this mercury retrograde that we've been experiencing a lot of different energies um it can be emotional energies it can be frustrating energies it can put you in a dark light or even if it can either heighten your vibe frequency or vibes or even lower them as well you know and it's just like the universe is allowing you to be able to deal with these things so we can purge release anything that's like not keeping us at the utmost you know in a happy frequency or whatever you know, a lot of times we think about things that have occurred in our life that we're currently dealing with as well as the past that we're dealing with, you know, and it's like, it'd be frustrating. You can be in all in a good mood. Next thing you know, things will come up to the surface that are not so pleasant. Um, things that we have had to deal with, you know, it could have been years ago or something that occurred in your, your adolescent life. But all those things are able to be used as a tool for knowing how strong you are you know there's a lot of times that universe will allow certain things to appear in your life just to let you know hey you can get through this um you see the things that you have been dealing with beforehand you know a lot of times we deal with certain things can be very strat uh strat stratic tragic <laughs> i was about to say stressful and tra tragic at the same time well that can be a word tragic so, you know, do, doing with those different things in life, it allows you to know, you know, I am strong. You know, certain things can happen in your life where we really feel like we are not going to be able to get through this. You know, it could be anything, you know, whether it's a breakup or, you know, losing a family member or, you know, losing a job. You know, everything happens for a reason. It can be very painful to have to experience those things, but those are, you know, a way of life. It's like things have been pressed in our lives for us to have to go through be able to see where our strength is a lot of times you know universe tests us on those things you know you can sit up here and say like with my situation I can sit up here and say I forgive certain people you know I can keep saying that all you know all the while but then God God will allow these people to come back in your life just to see are you going to seek closure from this situation or are you going to retaliate towards these people especially if they did something to you or are you going to be you know say what you you know say what you mean and mean what you say because a lot of times you have to be able to walk the walk talk the talk but when it get comes to that situation you have to still have that same vibe and, you know we have to not allow ourselves you know even if it's somebody with a ne negative energy you cannot allow those people to change your frequency because of their presence or change their frequency because of them throwing you a bone of stressfulness you know a lot of people that are insecure about themselves will place their insecurities on you you know we're, we're, we're being a hey 
we mirror a lot of different situations towards people that we can rub people the wrong way because they don't want to feel those insecurities that they hold against themselves. You know, we're all a work in progress. Nobody is not perfect, but it's just the, the things that we endure in life. You know, there are so many things y'all have shared with me, you know, especially the people I talk to one-on-one -on -one. and, you know, and I love to be able to give, you know, you that positive vibe, you know, like, yes, you're getting, you know, you're going through these certain situations, but it's allowing you to see the things that you need to change within yourself, seeing the things you need to be holding yourself at a higher standard. You know, um, there's times where you, you reflect on things that has really put you in a, you know, in a bad place. You know, I've had that, you know, happen to me recently where I have to self-reflect and take that self-care of mine and not allow certain things to get to me, you know, because other people's opinions is their opinion. You know, you know your path, you know your journey. Not a lot of people are going to look at your journey and understand. There are some people that don't understand mine. That's fine. But it's just like with me, I got to keep on going. What other people think of me and how they think things are true or may not be true that that cannot sit up here and ruin my focus on what I'm trying to do in life you know dealing with those things pause for calls y'all my phone ringing my bad <laughs> yeah I'm back y'all but yeah it's just certain things occur in our lives that will test us you know what I'm saying especially if you know you're heading towards big beautiful blessings it all it never fails it's like you know when you're like this close to your blessing it could be the littlest damn things that really work your nerve and they'll allow you to go 10 paces back and that's where you need to correct yourself i had to tell myself that as well do not allow you know certain situations change how you you see people don't allow certain situations to put you in a you know in a, in a negative spot because you know we all go through things you know we have to understand certain people that come certain people that come into our you know in our on our path you know they could be going through a lot of detrimental things and stuff like that so you know things happen for a reason but it's just like I get in touch with people you know I like I tell them I love what I do I love the fact is when you know somebody is going through a, a world of confusion or even sadness to be able to give that person you know um, just a positive you know feedback and let them know hey it's okay you know things happen the way they happen but allow this this experience to give you growth allow this this experience to have you look at things that you can truly be grateful for because a lot of times we go through certain situations that can really piss us off or you know how could this person do this to me why did they do this you know do this to me or whatever and you have to be able to to look at it in a positive aspect in your life like this is something that you can hold close to you that can give you that growth that word of wisdom you know a lot of things occur in our life to be able to heal you would not if, if you never had those negative situations to pop into your life and how are you going to be able to handle these things you know because these these situations that are placed upon our path gives us faith patience and forgiveness you know and patience as well you know all these different I don't know if I said patience twice but you know hey you know what I'm talking about but you know there's a lot of things you know I sit here and reflect on you know there's days that I I don't do videos and I just need to reflect on myself you know not every day is going to be positive you know I try to push out as much positivity as I possibly can but when you're going through things yourself you have to be able to take that time out for yourself to be able to reflect like what do I need to you know uh, pay attention to where is my thoughts and my energy going to you know don't allow your your energy to be able to focus on something that's negative unless you know you're trying to change it into a positive you know uh, like a positive example for yourself to be able to know you know what this situation has appeared in my life yes it might have rubbed me the wrong way yes this person might have rubbed me the wrong way but am I gonna allow somebody else's energy or doubtfulness towards my life is that gonna stop me from growing hell no it shouldn't but you know you should be able to take it up and and put that into like a, a knowledge file you know being able to know that certain situations may be placed on our life for us to be able to learn from. You know, there's a lot of things that has subliminal messages to you that uh, that you can instill within yourself. You know, so universe allows certain things to happen in our lives that you know can better you know lift us up in a good way. But it's just all about how you tend to look at it because there's a lot of times when we go through negative situations we look at it as a ne negative situation a ne negative experience but if you can be able to step out and I always say this all the time 
step out without putting emotion into it. These things had to happen in our lives, you know, with my situation. I look at it, it took me a long time to actually sit up here and say, I'm no longer allowing these people to affect me because of what they did to me in my life, you know, uh, altering my life. You know, that took a lot. It really did for me in my situation. Um, but it gave me growth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't get a lot of closure or I'm not getting the answers that, you know, I truly feel like I deserve. But that doesn't mean down my path, you know, with me growing, setting examples for myself, being able to do positive videos to bring out that awareness, to be able to remind others of the things that happen into your life. You can either let this, you know, certain situations make you or break you. You know, I said, I'm so damn determined. I'm letting this make me in so many different positive aspects in my life. You know, a lot of times we feel like, you know, detrimental things can be placed in our life to where it's hard to be able to comprehend that pill called truth, not allowing these things to really get to you because it will. It really will, especially if you know um, things have been placed on your life that you really can't understand. It can be heartbreaking. But knowing it has, you have to be able to see the bigger picture, knowing that you'll get the answers that you truly need. As long as you try to focus on healing, not letting somebody else's, you know, insecurities that they placed upon you being able to mold you is that it's just like a lot of people might have their opinions about me. That's fine. You know, there are some people that love me and there are some people that love to hate me. It's fine as well. You know what I'm saying? It is everything is an experience to people. But you know, it's being a Hayoka. You know, it's just our light can shine towards people and it can really intimidate them, you know, where they feel like, you know, hey, my life ain't as important as theirs. But if you don't look at yourself in that high standard, you know, it, it could be like a frog can sit up here and have more standards than you can. But it's all about how you value yourself, how you value, you know, yourself as a person. You know, do you give that? Do you are you allowing other people to validate you? Or are you validating yourself? You should never give anybody that kind of power to do that. What you feel about yourself and how you feel like you want to be projected is up to you. So it's just like a lot of things we have to, you know, go through. And it teaches us everything, no matter if it's like something very simple or something very hard. You're always learning something out of that situation. And a lot of times, you know, universe has to remind you, you are that strong person. You know, you will get through this, even though you might not be able to see the whole full path or the whole full story on things that has been able to be placed in your life that can be very upsetting, very traumatic, you know, that can put you in that, that traumatic spot for a long time, but you will be able to get through it. You know, a lot of times we have to go through things to give us that reminder of how strong we are. Give us that reminder. Not every day is going to be a bad day, but you have to be able to find a blessing within that day. You know, so allow yourself to know what the universe sends to you and being able to see the, the vibes they really want to show you. And I hope you are able to resonate with the content in this video. It's Friday and, you know, this is starting a new uh, weekend and I hope everybody is safe and doing things, you know, that's going to be keeping them <laughs> in the same spot. So, you know, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all every day. I'm out, I would love to give a post notification shout out to Bizel. Much love to you. Welcome to our family. I don't know if I, you know, I gave you a shout out before, but I'm giving you another one. And I love the way you put things together. I swear it's like uh, reading Morpheus hand, uh, handwriting when you say things, but I do understand what you're saying. So, you know, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line, let me know if you uh, can resonate with this video or just even give me your positive feedback. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. So as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Share and, you know, say some kind words to somebody because you really, you don't know how far it can really take them. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.